Today is the first day of the return of regional for cricket, West Indies Championship here at Kensington Novo, Barbados Pride versus the World Islands Hurricanes. Um, first of all, just tell us um, how, how good is the feeling to have regional cricket back at the Mecca. We had international cricket in West Indies versus England, but now the, the regional sport is back. Just, just talk to us a little bit first. Yeah, we are very excited. It's been two years since we've had the opportunity to really have regional cricket here at Kensington Oval. And the opportunity to showcase Barbadian talent is really, along with all the other Caribbean territories, what regional cricket represents. Sometimes when you get the opportunity to see those persons at international level, you miss a lot of the emerging talent. So to have regional cricket back here at Kensington is really an important part of our development. You can see from the moving around today that there are few spectators who've come out. I mean, COVID has caused a lot of us to feel very bottled up over the last few years. And really the opportunity to be able to get out, sit down, have a drink, see some friends you haven't been able to see for a long time is really part and parcel of the excitement that we part and parcel of the next few days. I will say though, however, that the fact that we have Barbados spread against the New Orleans Hurricanes is I think the right start because Barbados Pride being the actual defending champions. We want to be able to showcase today why we were defending champions two years ago. I think we won in excess of four by excess of forty points and really today we want to be able to show again why we were so dominant two years ago. Um, you know, what does it feel like, you know, there's been a lot of talk about pitch, the surfaces haven't been used for, you know, two years in terms of competition. But we did have international cricket it was your first look but you know, the outfield, the pitches, stuff like that. Well, the good thing about Kensington Oval is that we still continue to do a lot of work and the pitches and the square were used prior even to the international series. So for persons to be a little bit skeptical, yes, I can understand that in a broad base uh, way. But we've done a lot of work here. We've had guys going into the middle, having a hit. We've had international matches. So we're quite confident that we'll be able to put out some good quality pitches for these regional games. For the BCA, especially um, from, from a revenue generated for the view as well. But the scheduling is important. I mean, this game starts on a Wednesday, so most persons who are employed are going to be at work. So the BC is not seen as a big revenue generating exercise because you have games Wednesday through Saturday, and then next week when the Jamaica Scorpions come here, the game starts on the Tuesday. So you're realizing that it's being played during the course of the week. I would be very clear to say that we are happy with whatever group of persons come into Kensington. We've been very aggressive in our marketing. We've got some reports that are going to one of the radio stations we've got social media we've got different blasts so we're really trying to encourage people to come and we want to bring people to kensington as much as they can over the next few days how happy are you with the protocols and being able to have spectators you know that has been a major talking point yes we were allowed spectators for international cricket i mean now to have them back in local cricket you know it's a bit of a start we had spectators for horse racing uh, cricket now they have inspectors they'll talk to us a little bit about that and the fact that the spectators who are in here are fully vaccinated yeah, I mean, the, the requirement is fully vaccinated spectators. You know, in Barbados, we have a situation where from age 12 up to 17, those groups are also vaccinated. We would love to have the opportunity in the next few weeks, maybe um, to have some children who are under 12 coming in as well. But those are things that being worked through. But in terms of the numbers and spectators, we have to remember that Barbados had over 16,000 new cases in the month of January alone. So the government is, I believe, playing a balancing act. They've given the sports organizations um, some encouraging words quite recently through the new Minister of Sport. And we believe that over time that persons will be able to return, not just to cricket, but to most of the other sports and be able to just not only be participating, but also be part of the spectatorship. So we are working very closely with the government and we are very pleased with how things are progressing so far.